Joining me now, oh, he's, she's just come before our cameras, is Representative Marsha Blackburn, Republican of Tennessee. And Representative Blackburn, first, immediately your thoughts on the speech and which part of it spoke to you most? It was forceful, it was decisive, and he showed what leadership is all about. And I have to tell you, Liz, I like the way that he expressed his gratitude and his thanks. Mm -hmm. Then he moved to discussing the problems that exist with the nuclear armed Iran and spoke to why we all need to be against that. Then he closed it with talking about Moses. And uh, that Moses is looking head on at you when you're standing at the speaker's dais. Mm -hmm. and to to draw that in, draw that chamber in. I thought it was an incredibly powerful close. I remember that moment, and somebody was was uh, not asleep at the wheel. They got uh, the switch. They got the shot of Moses there, and and it was an, an important moment. But you know, yes. I know this is not a surprise to you. You have op-eds in the Indianapolis Daily Herald, the New Yorker, Mother Jones, even Israeli uh, newspaper Haaretz calling this a stunt, calling uh, calling uh, the prime minister's speech a stunt. Tell us why it wasn't a political stunt. The reason it wasn't a political stunt is because one of the most dangerous things we can face in the future is a nuclear armed Iran. And for our biggest ally, our longest ally, our primary ally in the Middle East, to come before us and say this is why this is a bad thing to say we need to agree to stop aggression we need to fight terrorism in the world and we need to stop the threats to Israel and lay out those three points and say this treaty would not serve us well this agreement would not serve us well either in Israel the Middle East or the world at large mm. then it was an important time to do that and I, I think that what he was doing is saying think about this be thoughtful think long Long term about it, what it's going to do to your children and grandchildren. Well, I, I still go on the record as saying it. Once we see the ratings, we will probably see the most widely watched foreign leader speech ever from yes. the floor of Congress. Thank I you. Totally agree with you. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much, Representative yes. Marsha Blackburn, Republican of Tennessee. We appreciate her jumping in front of the cameras, as we did Brendan Boyle, Democrat of Pennsylvania. So